Hey, so today we're getting into working on the 6.1 for the high horsepower or ultimate build VE, I guess, let's call it. Um, so I got the 6.7 block. This is the same block we had before that I was looking at. Um, I got everything all washed up and I just covered it in WD-40. Um, waiting for the camshaft gear in my toaster oven. And yes, that's what that dirty old toaster oven is for. It's for heating up stuff. We have the cam or crankshaft right there. I think I said camshaft earlier. The crankshaft there, drop the gear on. I'm not welding the gear. I was thinking about it. I'm not gonna weld the gear being that it's a VE and it isn't gonna have enough power from the VE to spin the gear. And then that way, if we wanna swap this engine back over to a common rail per se, um, I can reuse that crankshaft, I think. Anyways, I'm not gonna weld it on for that reason. I, I think it'll be fine. So, and if it's not, well then it's my own fault. So we're going to today, right at this moment, we're waiting for that gear to heat up. We're gonna put the oil squirters in, um, the main bearings back in. I've already checked all the oil clearances and I've showed that on the channel a bunch of times. I'm not gonna go through and, re and show you guys that. Um, if you want to, you can go back or you can get into the rebuilding program, which will be coming up very quickly for sale. Just thought I'd mention that. Um, but I've already checked all the oil clearances and stuff. And like I said, I've went through it a bunch of times, so I don't feel like doing it again, because it does add a bunch of time to putting stuff together, um, build like video wise. So we're gonna put the main bearings in, put that in, put the studs in. Um, and then I don't know if we're gonna get any further than that today, maybe put the rear seal housing or something on. So um, but that'll probably burn up the rest of the day. Um, Shay and Mason are here and uh, they're gonna give me a hand and I'll probably throw you guys in a time lapse till we get to somewhere that we should show you something. But for the most part, you guys have seen me do this before, but I'll show you again doing uh, the six one build. For you guys that are new to this, so we're doing a six seven crankshaft. This is a six seven block, but we've sleeved it down to a five nine bore again. And I've drilled and tapped the front. Um, this is the one that was in my, my first gen a couple years ago. So we've drilled and tapped the front already to accept the older style timing case. Um, so that makes that. Now, usually I would weld Ah, I'll talk about that later. I usually have to weld something up, but I have an oil pan that we don't have to do that with, so we'll probably just use that, and then I don't have to modify basically anything. Might as well use the parts that I have. So, um, let's get into putting this thing together, I guess. High fancy metals. She's wrong. Yeah. Yeah, it's been some way we do fucking junk. Well, it just needs to be, right? Well, this probably honestly doesn't need them. But I'm going this far into it with that. Like you said though, if you ever decide to swap the pumps around and make it into something else. Yeah. It's built for it, it's already there. Well, the worst part is that I still gotta tear it all apart to do it. Yeah. Yeah, for sure, but at least we'll all be in the same cleaning bin. <laughs> yeah, basically. I'll be able to take the engine and put it on the shelf and I'll be in one spot. Yeah. Eventually I'll just have a bunch of really expensive engines sitting on the shelf. Basically. Yeah. I 
actually have a Wizzy camera too. I don't use it, but I have one. Uh oh. I'm missing one. Probably in my box over there. Hopefully. Otherwise, I'm missing Started up, had a problem, and then went, hmm. Yeah. Oh, you dickhead. That one's in the cylinder. One. Good thing there's no head on it. Yeah, I'll have to get a magnet. My thumbs decided they wanted to be thumbs. You go right, right over there, uh, green handle. That's the same reason I have a whole bunch of those. For the drop shit. Out of the motor it goes. Just gotta wash it. Processes. Need to sure. Don't wind them down yet either. Yeah. Which I like. I gotta put a little bit of lead on them and wash them wind them down. Yeah. Yeah, just leave them by. Oh, God. Dang it. I can reach that. No, you'll get your hand covered in that gray You're Covered stuff. in schmoo. That's why we got this thing. Which one did it go down? Yeah, right there, right there. there. It's like Annie sees that shit gets everywhere. Yeah, as soon as you get it on one spot. Oh, don't worry. Yeah, you end up with it fucking everywhere. You end up going home looking like the what's his nut from. You really, you really, man. you really find out when you get home, and then you get up in the morning and go, hmm. <laughs> you can see everywhere you touched. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you walk in, you touch the door frame or mm -hmm. something. There's a smear. <laughs> Trust me, I hear about it all the time. Yeah. Ooh, I literally hear about it all the time. Sure they're all down. I've never had I don't yeah, I usually could. have them too often that they don't go down. Yeah, that's good. You usually have the problem with them not going down because well yeah. after you do them you do it five thousand times. Yeah. That's why you're so uh, religious about hitting them. Try and get them to sit. Well, that is the sound. Honestly, not the tapping part, as soon as I seat deep, you can hear it. Uh, that you can clack? Actually, yeah, you can hear that when it bottoms up. 
Yeah. That's like you're not really hitting it very hard. It's just that when you hit it, you can feel the bunk. Spinny, spinny. Oh, yeah. She's a little firm, but How's that? got fresh assembly in it's there. Assembly loop. Yeah. She's still got a nice flow to her. It's got a, it's got a, like, three and seven tenths, three and eight tenths on some of them. Yeah. Clearance. There's lots of clearance there. Yeah. It was good. The assembly lube makes it, does make it stiff to turn. But yeah. Even with how stiff it is, that wouldn't be tight enough to her concern. No, it wouldn't hurt anything. I guess what we could do is we could put the rear seal on to it. Oh, actually, you know what I should do before I do anything else? Before I forget, is put plugs in. Yeah. Because you know what really, you know what really sucks? When it pisses you put fucking the, stuff everywhere. No, when you put the, when you put the front cover on, realize you didn't put the plug in. Oh yeah, definitely. Then you have to take the front cover back off. Yeah. Uh, Fight with it. Man. Well, the funny thing was, is I bought that 50-inch screen TV. It's a smart TV off of Amazon. And it was cheaper than the 40-inch screen TV that I bought years ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was just like, well. Yeah, I must Because it was like $469 like... or something. It doesn't support it anymore. Huh. You gotta be gent kind of gentle with them because he's gonna be brittle. Mm -hmm. The silver ones aren't too bad, but yeah. the black ones are very brittle. The silver ones are, don't break very easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. You can break them, but they're not that easy to break. Flute and handy dandy waggler rods. All prettily packed. Five minus one, which is on the shelf. What is that? I should have one out Okay. Don't like my price problem solved. That hurts my brain. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was a nice looking drop, man. I would have even kept the vintage uh, colors. See, that's also one of those things, that's a though. crying shame, man. I bet you it was an insurance thing. Yeah, it could have been, but ouch. There is people like that out there, but that doesn't make sense to me. Why because. Did you really, eh? Like, no, but you know what I mean? Like, I've had a few guys like, oh, I'll just crush it. If it was something that's junk, whatever, I'll just throw it away. I don't care. But if it's something that's really nice, like you just like, obviously you don't give a fuck about the car community. Yeah, yeah. You're just a jerk off. Yeah. And in that point, I would rather like, I honestly, if that was somebody on a page that I dealt with, yeah. and I seen that, I would talk to everybody. Like, you, I would have them deleted off of everybody's yeah, page.
Yeah, man. All the shiny stuff stays inside the engine. We'll be back. Yep. Um, this, this shouldn't make a powered knock a rod out of this. One. These guys make 2,000 horsepower with these things. Yeah. Or with these rods, I should say. Pistons? I don't know what the. Well, that's what we might find out where the limiting factor for the piston yeah. is. But there's guys making more power on them than I think we, we're going to. Squirter notch on the right side. Uh, I hope so. <laughs> I looked at it, and that's this is the same way Poi had them on last time too. Yeah, because we marked them before we took them off. Oh, right on. Good job, yeah, good job. Yeah. Try not to act, try not to end up on my my ass is what I'm trying yeah. to do. When I was younger and I fell down, it wasn't such a big deal. As you get older, it's not it's quite as advantation on the as advantageous on the body. A little harder on the fucking everything. Yeah. The bits.
Um, probably over by Hoy Station there, and not in his not in his toolbox that's facing you, but the one that's over beside the home. Very bottom drawer. Throw the caps on. Cross that better lock tape. Final torque's like 125, I think. Yeah. I just I just set it at 40, just so it so they're tight enough to not spin a bearing. <laughs> well, technically, if they're even snug, they shouldn't spin a bearing. But yeah, just easier to yeah. You set them all to the same then. Do two first. Hmm. Just that's how I have them set out. Yep. Just so we don't yep. jack up our rod cap. I actually had a guy, an engine come in a couple weeks ago. Yeah. It was built by somebody else. I don't he didn't say who it was built by. Is that good there? Yeah. And uh they uh mixed up the rod caps. Uh oh. And they just lay it down so it doesn't fall over. Burned up burning up a main? Uh, burnt up a crankshaft for the rod, yeah. 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 That's not such a good thing. Though it lasted quite a while. Yeah. It's like 30,000 pounds before it blew up. Yeah, but if, uh, if you go and um, have something like, yeah, 
hone them and do all that stuff, and they're specific to one another. Well, they're always, and they always are, right? Yeah. yeah. They don't fucked it up. No, the old Chevy ones, they used to snap them, right? Yeah. And they were literally one for each. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, not... that's, how, that's how every rod is. Yeah. Every rod's the same way. I thought these ones are machine cut, aren't they? Yeah, but they're home. They're bored after they've been machined. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. that part. I mean, the snap part for GMs. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The rod itself. Yeah, they'll only fit together. Yeah. yeah. A little to your right, just a teeny. Yeah. Perfect. Is that still back? And you're gonna push it through, and then I just line it up so that it hits on the rod. I'm give a little double check that the bearing didn't adjust itself. And then we put caps on. Mm -hmm. That's why it costs so much for these types of fancy well, things. I've had this. Because uh, how long had, this takes is probably you've done this five times over. Mm -hmm. well, just I've, to had, this. I've had the crankshaft out three times. Yeah. And then I've had two pistons in twice yeah. and then I machine the pistons off yeah, yeah it's it's more work than a lot of people think it is yeah also depends on the caliber engine you're building yeah. that is also correct I got the gray shit on me. Yeah. It's like that leprosy back in the day. Mechanics leprosy. She's so perfect it fucking just turned. Oh, what's on the journals there? I think we should wipe them off. On I don't know what that is. Oh, that's probably the it crap. Kind of like dirt, but well, it's probably from the because I break clean it off, right? Oh yeah, so it's just like some of that dried surface, surface particles. Still kind of crap from the break clean. Get that fucking dirty crap off me before it ends up showing up on me three weeks down the road. I never get away from it long enough for it not to be there. Well, it'd be different if I came in, like, just threw on my coveralls and gave it a shit. Because then it stays on the coveralls and, you know, when you know it's on something, you just don't deal with that something the same. Yeah. But when it's on your jacket, you wear it everywhere. Ah. It's like, oh shit, I touched that. Oh shit, I touched that. Oh shit. <laughs> you just put that on repeat. <laughs> Yeah. Three or four? Three. Three. Number three. Lube is your friend. No. Always. You can always tell the guys that don't have girlfriends. Yeah. Or guys that don't have girlfriends that, that, that like them. Yeah. Because they don't use enough lube. It's a very valid thing. Good to go. Should be close enough to straighten this up. Oh, now you gotta turn it to your right. Maybe twist it a bit. Oh, turn it to your right again. Hold on. Twist it back. Good there? Now nah, turn to your right. There. That's good. Now you're in far enough that she won't come back up. You might have to turn a little to your right. Yep. And it's my job to make sure that nothing gets nicked on the way up to here. 
just like that. Perfect. Yeah. Because the less damage the thing takes while you're putting it together, ultimately, is the longer everything's going to fucking stay perfect. And when you spend that kind of money on something, the longer it stays perfect, the fucking better. <laughs> <coughs> Six pistones. I can do it myself. It's just way easier. Oh, oh fuck. It is. More funner, too. That, too, yep. Besides, this fucker needs to start paying attention soon here, anyways, if he's going to be of any fucking use to you. So, we got the engine to the point where um, we've got the rods, pistons in it. Um, everything is torqued up. Main studs are in it. Um, I still have to put the girdle and such on. Um, that girl actually come from one of you guys. Well, I bought it or trading horse trading from Carmen. Um, we did some machine work and stuff. I figured I'd use it on my block before I give it to somebody else. So appreciate that. The deal on that, Carmen. Um, we, uh, what else we got? Yeah, so that's all together as far as that goes. We checked everything that we needed to check as far as the stuff I hadn't checked. Um, so we'll get more videos coming on that um, probably in the next couple of weeks. Um, and also probably gonna have a couple of videos coming on the shorty. I got the, some pictures and such, but I got the PPF all done on the truck. And so the whole truck is PPF, which is paint protection film. The whole truck is done and, uh, man, it looks good. So a shadow tint here in Calgary did the job for me. They tinted the windows and that, and it looks mint. So uh, highly recommend, um, if you want a quality job done, um, they did a really nice job. So, all right. Going to call it on this one for now. Um, catch you on the next one.